It is Jason Abraham, shadow teacher. And I made a video titled A Paranoid Android. It's a little short narrative I, I wrote and I recited essentially on camera. And it was inspired by the title of a song by the band Radiohead titled Paranoid Android. And the theme simply resonated with me as I look at the work that I've been doing with myself over the past few years, but also what I do with clients in my holistic health coaching and training. As a common problem I see is that people in, in their conditioning and attempts to fit in with the world, they have to become chameleons and put on many masks and when people are constantly doing this and they either are betraying their highest values, their highest internal values or have not found those values at all or, or simply taking on this amygdala of values, of random values associated with their masks, this contributes to a, a schizoid, almost paranoid state of consciousness. And some of the behavior that goes along with that is valuing the opinions of others over doing what is right for you. And this shows up again in all kinds of mental and physical disorders if this continues down the road. And I call this condition of being the paranoid android. And I've been, I feel like I've been a paranoid android at times in my life, but now I am starting to feel what it's like to be more human. In fact, that I've started to feel more human for, for a good while. And that is the remedy. That is what most of these paranoid androids seek is to feel more human, to be able to feel their emotions, to be able to express their authentic emotions. There are this, this movement for authenticity on social media, and the idea was good, but it essentially just became another social mask, another gimmick. But the idea behind it is a good thing. And I find a few useful principles in breaking free of this paranoia, breaking free of the programming of the paranoid android. And number one is getting into the body, having a regular physical practice that contributes to feeling the body and experiencing the body. And it can be any form of exercise, exercise and breathing are both involved in this, but getting physical and getting into the body breaks up the schizoid patterns of the mind and, and brings one to a sense of presence, potentially. And another idea that I found resourceful is setting boundaries. We're not always going to be able to engage in the world and express ourselves in our fullest way. Sometimes that has very negative consequences. So the idea that we can always say whatever and do whatever is not a realistic idea. In fact, that's what people, many, some people who are uh, diagnosed with certain forms of autism, they do that. They say what they think. They blurt it out of, and they offend many people. And many, many of these people are actually very are, are genius, but suffer in their personal relationships for this quality. So having a filter is not necessarily the same thing as being inauthentic. It just means that we're going to have the discernment of how we express ourselves. But the basic way that we express ourselves is always going to be congruent with our highest values. And I'm in situations as a coach where people want to vomit their belief systems on me just expecting that I'm going to agree with them. And I've had to set boundaries with that. When people go on that path, 
whether it be religious or political or whatever, I let them know that that's not okay. Not not that it's not, not that their belief system is not okay, but it's just not okay that that I am not in accord, and you are free to believe what you want to believe, but if you want to just say something as if it's so that I don't believe in, you you will either get redirected by me or I'll debate you on it, which I'm okay with if you're okay with. But setting boundaries with people, and I, I think actually having discourse is good. If you have people who have different belief systems and are willing to have discussions and debates with you, that is actually a good thing that leads to a greater sense of truth and understanding for all. But sometimes that's not possible. And when that's not possible, I've learned simply just to set a boundary. And then I, I realize this is someone that I'm not going to be able to be my fullest with. So this boundary is going to be, be there in that interaction. And that's fine because there can be plenty of people in the world like that. In fact, the people that I can honestly express myself with in, in person, I'm doing that honestly on this platform, but the people in person I can probably count on one hand that will not want to punish me in some way for doing that. But I'm okay with that. That's the way the world is. And navigating it in this way, I've been able to find integrity in myself. So again, the end goal of all of this is from being a, a fragmented schizoid, paranoid android to being a whole integrated human being, honest with themselves, feeling their emotions, expressing themselves with honesty, with integrity. This leads to being a sovereign human being, which I believe is, is medicine for the world. If more people were sovereign, which means they were able to be honest with themselves and take responsibility for what they create and how they engage in the world, the world would, would transform in a positive way. So that being said, I'm going to end this video. Be strong, be well, and I'll see you on the other side.